Hyderabad, known all over the world for its majestic Charminar. Built in 1591, Charminar, a monument of architectural eminence, was at one time the heart of the city, around which the glory and history of the city have developed. The upcoming Center of Information Technology, Hyderabad, can now take pride in a monument to science, the internationally acclaimed Center of Research and Development. who has excelled in the art of organic senses. So he is a very loyal person. His chemistry has a very special flavor, so as to say. Very unique personality. A humane, rustic person. A no-nonsense man. He had the sixth sense of choosing the molecule. Dr. Ala Venkata Rama Rao a pioneer in the chemical synthesis of complex natural products, is the recipient of over 18 national and international honors. Padma Shri Dr. Rama Rao is the founder and chief executive of Avra Laboratories. The spirit behind this landmark achievement is symbolized by the petals of Vinca Rosia enshrined in the logo of Avra. Avra, a world-class research and development center with a built-up area of 45,000 square feet, has 14 research laboratories. It houses a unique pilot plant with eight reactors ranging from 250 liters to 2,000 liters, both stainless steel and glass lined for multi-batch production. There is ample area for centrifugation, micronization, blending and packing activities strictly adhering to international CGMP systems. Unit 1 and Unit 2 of AVRA are staffed by dedicated scientists and chemical technologists with a record of successful production of a wide variety of molecules involving multi-step synthesis. A well-stocked library, conference rooms, lecture halls and an administrative block. There are research labs, kilo labs with 100 glass assembly units, hydrogenation rooms and quality control infrastructure, clean rooms with HIPAA filters and high-tech air handling systems of pharmacopoeial standards. The priorities of Avra laboratories are clear. Research and development for discovering new drugs Improvisation of innovative process know-how. Collaboration with multinationals to formulate new drugs. To introduce life-saving drugs for AIDS, tuberculosis, diabetes, cancer at affordable prices. And to mold chemist entrepreneurs. Dr. Ala Venkata Rama Rao was born on the 2nd of April 1935, the eldest of nine children in the family of A. Subha Rao, a junior state official in Guntur, Andhra Pradesh. His mother, Ranganaya Kamma, was a devoted housewife. Dr. Rama Rao was a student of Hindu High School, Guntur. Always fascinated by chemistry, he obtained a degree of Bachelor of Science from AC College, Guntur. He preferred to be lonely. He used to work hard for his studies. 
loved his parents and siblings as well. I visit him whenever I remember him and sometimes he calls me up. His keen desire to study chemical technology took him to Mumbai. Despite adverse circumstances, he completed his BSc Tech from UDCT of Bombay. I was born in a middle class family or a below middle class. There was no person guided me or told me this is good or that is better. For example, after BSc, I did why I went to chemistry. I was scared of mathematics, let me make it very clear. But I loved chemistry even from my high school days. But those days, even in high school, there were experiments. Somehow I used to be read a little bit, you know, chemistry is the more closer to the life. You understand better about drug, colors, perfumes. All those days, even I used to read general things about chemistry. So that has fascinated me. And in intermediate, I used to stop her in the chemistry, but not in biology. He commenced the second phase of his career as a research fellow at NCL Pune under Professor K. Venkataraman. Ten years as a scientist and project leader, his team isolated over a hundred new compounds from plants and insects. This research was presented in over 70 papers published in reputed international science journals. So he started work in natural products. Uh, Dr. Venkatraman was very interested in natural product chemistry. So he published a number of papers with him. Uh, he was more or less his uh, right hand man and he did uh, lots of things for Dr. Venkatraman. And he was sort of one of those people who did not uh, care about uh, his own name and all that. He used to work for Dr. Venkatraman in the so he was regarded uh, as somebody who was helping Dr. Trump, although he, several things he did on his own. Also commendable were Dr. Rama Rao's findings on the structure of lac dye. A source of pride and achievement, his extensive work on lac pigments brought about a revision of the structure of other insect pigments and has been widely acclaimed. And Dr. Ramara took up this challenge in 16 and uh, individually worked on this molecule and uh, separated almost all the constituents of lactam and were able to give the structure, structures to these molecules. And uh, his contribution to lactam is considered as one of the most pioneering contributions to, to this area. But soon, destiny favored him with a two year association with the research team of the Nobel Prize winner, Professor E.J. Corey at the University of Harvard. Think always big, never compromise on projects. What is the most essential is also what relevance it has got that work to the society or even what you will achieve. And that is the type of projects he used to choose. Normally the organic chemists, or for that matter scientists, they specialize in certain areas. He said nothing, everything is open. Back at NCL, Dr. Ramarao was now convinced that medicinal raw material from natural sources would be more effective in healthcare. And a whole series of products came out from Dr. Ramarao's laboratories at that time due to Dr. Ramarao, these included uh, salbutamol, ibuprofen, trimethoprim, sulfamethoxazole, norfloxacin, ciprofloxacin, etc., etc., etc. Whole series of drugs. Device innovating cheaper methods for synthesizing the sick. So this, he, was, he was able to combine this uh, scientific capability and his nose for creating wealth out of scientific knowledge. The government of Maharashtra sponsored Dr. Rama Rao's project on commercial exploitation of Vinca rosea for anti-cancer compounds without recourse to chromatography and at much lower price than in the international market. One bright day he comes to me, I think it was in the late 70s or early, around that time, since uh, Yusuf, I want 
you to take up the manufacture of vincristine and vinblastin. I've developed the processes from vinca leaf. And I was very, very hesitant and reluctant. And this plant contains more than 75 alkaloids. And the two alkaloids which are important and being used for the treatment of leukemia and cancer is vincristine and vinblastin. And uh, Dr. Ramara did, uh, because of his uh, knowledge and wisdom, was able to isolate these two compounds uh, in, in, in large quantities from this, uh, these plants. And the technology was so good that uh, the, the isolation work was done without any modern equipment. And because of that, the cost of uh, these two drugs, uh, when they were commercialized, was one-tenth of what it was available earlier. So we came out with several methods which can be made much cheaper. And in fact, even today, they use my methods in the United States whenever they want to make anthracycline, that type of compounds. So that is the way we started. Dr. Rama Rao and his group of talented synthetic organic chemists achieved new heights in the synthesis of complex natural products. The BCs was initiated in 60s and then the late 60s and there were problems of developing the technology. And uh, too many people actually, you know, from initial were involved with that. But uh, really a commercially viable technology could never come out. But when he took over as the head of the organic chemistry, tech, um, chemistry group, he wanted to open the file again and there was a lot of uh, people who discouraged him to do it, but he was, you know, he was very, uh, he believed that he will be able to do something, you know, he will be able to contribute something. And then he opened the file and started working on B6. Then we also worked together on etoposide, another anti-cancer drug, mitoxantrone, another anti-cancer drug. And even today, between Dr. Ramarao and ourselves, we are still working on a series of anti-cancer drugs where he and I are working together for drugs like bicalutamide, anastrozole, etc., etc. Dr. Rama Rao's outstanding, innovative, result-oriented research, bold approach to problems and willingness to assume responsibility soon elevated him to the position of Director of Indian Institute of Chemical Technology, Hyderabad, in 1985. When he took over as a director, first thing is said that, you know, he developed a new area of drug and pharma. Agrochemical, what was going on, so many periods were lingering. What he did, he put a real thrust and time target. Before this time, it has to be either delivered or stopped. And some of the projects which was not going all right, he really closed them out. What he did, he consolidated all and he made a head of division concept. And then he made area-wise division head and they are the fully responsible for uh, keeping up the administration, doing the project on time, maintaining finance, everything. So that gave a boost. He brought about major infrastructural changes in the IICT, earlier known as Regional Research Laboratory, and gave new dimension to construction of spacious buildings for a better working environment. When uh, it came uh, to distributing funds, uh, he uh, was uh, merciless uh, on me also and he uh, would uh, demand things by his own right and he says that he, he deserves this and if I uh, say that uh, so much money is not available, then he would even say keep this man, I can uh, <laughs> run on my own. So when I came, certainly the vengeance I came, I use the word vengeance. I know there were unions, work culture was not there. So it was my first goal was to stop the indiscipline. So I did not recognize the unions. What may come, they went to politicians, they were, there were hartals. One fellow went on a fast, the union leaders. I ignored, I removed them within the two years. There was hue and cry with the political things, but I never bothered. I stood solid and brought the discipline. At what cost is a different thing. The drug research program designed by him brought laurels to IICT 
and was a boon to the Indian farmer industry, especially in the development of anti-AIDS drugs. Dr. Rambara was personally very much involved in developing a synthesis at that time for AZT, which CIPLA took up commercially. And that actually, over the last 10, 12 years, has led CIPLA uh, to produce a series of antiretroviral drugs for the good of mankind. And we as a company then, in the year 2001, uh, about two, three years ago, announced that we could treat HIV AIDS positively at less than a dollar a day. Dr. Rama Rao was the first to attempt in the field of chiral technology and made a success. Rama Rao's contribution has really done very great deal of contribution to chiral synthesis and lots of molecules which are synthesized for, with chirality are a very good contribution that he has made. For example, Timolol. Timolol is an anti-glaucoma drug which has chiral centers. Similarly, Diltiazam has a chiral center. And Ramarao developed chiral synthesis of these molecules and made them available for the industry to make. And these are now made in the chiral form for industry to be able to sell them. And that is a very good contribution that he has made. The development of cyanuric chloride technology was one of Dr. Ramarao's outstanding contributions. This technology has a different protocol since it involves two of the most poisonous gases. And I went and stood there, started the plant, and demonstrated there are no leaks. Then when I was about to return, although it, it, the product came out, but still people, you know, were not confident. So we brought the pigeons from the market and put the hangs around. They all lived very well. And we left the cages after four days because things are all moving well. They refused to go because we are feeding them. We used to feed them, they open. What I mean is, this is the type of confidence you as the leader, you have to carry the people with you. And those are the things I used to take bold decisions. He is very elder to us. I remember, when he got married, I was just five years old. My sister-in-law and my brother have always looked at us like father and mother. And I went to my brother's house. He himself taken me to the interview at Bombay. Personally, we both were born. Actually, they have treated me just like my father, mother. He never used to listen to anybody. He has got his own principles, stick to that principles and he used to come up like that. Hard work, he used to do hard work. I remember when he got Padma Shri, all of us were overwhelmed. My friends and my colleagues asked me for the celebration and I gave a party for that. We enjoyed since he is the only scientist in our family to reach this height. We were very scared of our father actually. Till I, I remember till 10th standard, I used to be so scared of him. But I am not sweating because I am telling about Ramara. <laughs> I remember Dr. Ramara and I met for the first time in 1974, not in India, in England, in Salford University. I still distinctly remember that day when he walked into my room. And very frankly, uh, the credit for my coming back must be given to you. He encouraged me because at that time Dr. Nayaduma had actually sent me a message that uh, he would like me to sort of come back. Dr. Taylor had sent me a message, Dr. Nayaduma had met me, but I was not so sure. But he helped me make a plan. What is beautiful about the, that evening when we met was that the offer that I had, actually, had I accepted it, I would have occupied a position which was senior to him, so as to say. All right? And yet, he was so generous, so gracious, that he still encouraged me. I will never forget that. That shows big heart, so as to say. I saw a very good human being in him, a very warm personality. 
a personality who takes any problem as a challenge and uh, nothing shakes him that is some this spirit which i really adore him. so we know each other's strengths and weaknesses actually and uh, we are allowing each person to use their strengths while pushing down the weaknesses of others so we are understanding each other very well as a family and we are just putting that into the business perspective a deep driven desire to do what he did and he's still doing now and he's also got the stamina i've seen him mellow down so much after nikhil was born there were so many things which i could never imagine that he could do and he was absolutely comfortable doing it for my son and he said lakshmi i you know i never did this for my children i'm doing this for nikhil he like that. he did he can do anything for one person who can take him for granted is my son so some reaction is not going something that is a outlet for him so 9 o'clock show he will go and those three hours he won't remember thing of the movie but uh, his mind is diverted amita bachan everything he are chiranjeev movies they act well So at the moment you say Amitabh Bachchan, you expect something good. I used to see even as a director minimum two movies in a month. People used to wonder. Amitabh Bachchan, everybody loves in the house. <laughs> And after that, he uh, mama le ni madri dechit. Now we play serial. My wife came from a middle class family. Although I was a PhD, she has not gone entered other than high school to level two has gone. I told her one thing that my interest lies in research and she encouraged me from the day one as a research fellow lekin uska sona nahi hai aur sone ka aadat nahi hai aur kahi friends nahi hai aur drinks nahi hai kuch nahi hai friends nahi hai khali chemistry i am the second wife <laughs> chemistry is his first wife <laughs> <laughs> After retirement from IICT, Dr. Rama Rao once again took an offbeat decision. The setting up of his own R&D laboratory. Contract R&D facility was then non-existent in India. The research that you do has to be purposeful. Okay? And then he's also one of the very few in India who understood the root of Saraswati to Lakshmi. so as to say he never found these two uh, goddesses uh, you know in contradiction with uh, uh, each other now this particular i would say ability that is technopreneurship technology and entrepreneurship you know when you talk about entrepreneurship is lakshmi technology is saraswati you know he combines that he needed capital for constructing the land and he was able to get this money from technology from department of science and technology and he has exceptionally high reputation there because he returned all the loans given to him ahead of time in his endeavor he received unstinting support from his wife hemavati sons ramakrishna and chandrashekar and daughter radha avra is a milestone in the pilgrim path of an extraordinary scientist who bridged the uneasy divide between basic science and technology it is really the premier contract research organization in the country it is led by a very charismatic and towering figure in indian organic chemistry professor av ramarao i think uh, it's not entirely incorrect to say that he is the doyan of organic chemistry here he has a tremendous reputation both at home and abroad in the very very same areas in which outsourcing is important today start with process chemistry he has pioneered the development of so many processes on a global basis he has now established the facilities to do this in a very cost effective manner conforming to all the regulatory uh, parameters and so on and more important than seamlessly transferring the technology anywhere that is required dr rama rao's deep rooted desire to continue to serve science and society has found expression in the avra research foundation established in 1995 under the chairmanship of professor m m sharma people with similar views have liberally supported this noble cause 
the research foundation aims to promote science and technology for social benefit. Dr. Rama Rao mentored more than a hundred doctoral students. Do you really believe God if you say, I say yes. In one sense, religion and God controls our behavior. If you don't believe in God, your acts will not be disciplined. Automatically, there's a fear that controls. Same thing is the religion. If you don't follow religion, we will not be humans. The scientist has to be first a human being in any case. Dr. Alla Venkata Rama Rao, the son of a junior state government employee of humble means, it has been an eventful life. A challenging journey to ultimate fulfillment, an eulogy to natural products, to the bounties of nature.